Now to travel, we have a glorious garden weekend getaway up for grabs for a lucky viewer and a friend as well. Now you could be winging your way to the Paoko Taranaki Garden Festival and we'll give you the details of how to enter in just a moment, so don't worry about that. Now the festival is a region-wide event that's growing every year. We sent travel journalist Debbie Griffiths for a taste of what the Paoko Taranaki Garden Festival has on offer. Take a look. as a simple celebration of rhododendrons. But to date, 30 years on, the Powerco Taranaki Garden Festival attracts thousands from around the country and around the world. But it's not just for those with green fingers. Today, I'm being treated to a glorious garden getaway. It's a chance to be inspired, to be wowed and to meet the people creating these diverse but always delightful gardens. This year we've got 40 gardens um, and all the gardens go right around the region. It's bringing that little element of surprise for the visitor. You know, visitors come here and traditionally they, they come year after year. So it's kind of about, it's about um, giving that extra bit of surprise for them. Last year, almost 51,000 garden visits were racked up over the 10-day festival. 70% of our visitors come from out of the region, which we absolutely love. And you would have seen and met some of the gardeners and they love to welcome them. They, they love to tell their story and, and share their passion with other people that are, that are like-minded. So they're mm. a big part of the experience, aren't they? Well, they're huge, they're huge. Without the gardeners, we wouldn't have a festival. All of our gardeners, when you're speaking to them, they're so humble about their places. Um, a lot of our gardens are New Zealand, New Zealand Garden Trust accredited. However, when you meet the people and you hear their stories behind their homes and you hear their passion, that's, that's where the connection happens and that's why this festival works, it's that connection between people. Taranaki's annual garden festival has developed a global reputation for outstanding gardens. Nico Grove recently acknowledged as one of the country's best. This garden is a New Zealand Garden Trust assessed garden. Um, it was awarded another star at the end of last year's assessments, so it's now rated a garden of national significance and there, we have a few of those within the festival. Um, we also have a garden of international significance. Sustainability is the focus of many gardens and that of Dave and Joe at Juno Gin, searching for juniper trees in New Zealand to complete their homegrown circle. We're looking for a New Zealand supply. It's part of our ethos that we will support our ingredients from around New Zealand. Um, juniper traditionally comes from the Northern Hemisphere through natural resource consent collection. We want to try and uh, commence commercial or propagation of the juniper berries grown here in New Zealand. We may actually end up with a situation where we have junipers grown in the South Island and junipers grown in the North Island have a different flavour attribute. Until then, the imported juniper berries combined with local ingredients and Joe and Dave's passion for creating award-winning gin shines through. And in the spring gin, we've made a less balanced gin, but an interesting adventure, a taste adventure. So really heroing the limes. So we've got Tahitian lime blossom, kaffir lime, Mexican key lime, some beer's lime, a little bit of lemon verbena and a touch of gorse blossom in there. Wow, it and is very citrusy, I can yeah, yeah, it is. and taste it. And, there's, and the gorse blossom brings a little coconutty hint to it to just balance all that lime. Gavette Brewster Art Gallery and Lend Lie Centre is always changing. The current exhibition, Sensory Agents, showing local artist Lend Lie's fascination with light, movement and sound. It's in the West End Precinct, considered the Garden Festival Hub, a collective of 19 businesses where you can shop, dine and stay. King and Queen Hotel has luxury rooms right above the social hotspot. A courtyard with great places to eat and drink, including the newly opened Itch Bar.
with hand-picked wines, hand-crafted cheese and international cured meats, this is a rare bespoke wine and cocktail experience. Here you go guys. Cheers guys, help yourself. Just across the road, Monica's has collaborated with Juno Gin to create the rhubarb martini. It's a popular all-day eatery with locals and a great place to end your glorious garden getaway. How good does that look? Now, we are giving away a glorious garden getaway to the Powco Tabamaki Garden Festival. One lucky winner and a friend are going to be flown from anywhere in the country to New Plymouth to stay in the nice hotel's gorgeous Pahutukawa suite. Now, the prize includes airport transfers and your own personalised tour of Taranaki for the weekend, from viewing stunning gardens to being taken on tour and also to garden festival events as well. Now, the winner is going to receive a $250 hospitality voucher to spend at West End Precinct, a tour of Juno Gin with a complimentary bottle of gin and entry for two to the Govett Brewster Art Gallery and the Len Lye Centre as well. A total prize package worth more than $3,000. That's amazing. Now if you want to enter, go to the cafe website. Good luck.